Hi and welcome. We are so excited today to have Sharon Simons with us. Sharon Simons is a mom at last. Sharon, thank you for being here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. We are so excited to hear your journey. I understand you had quite a story to share and there's so much to get into this segment. So I'm going to let you tell us your journey and it wasn't always easy, was it? No, it wasn't. Um, like many women, I always wanted to be a mom, and before you know it, age catches up, <laughs> finding the right partner catches up, and finally I did, and then the journey just wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. um, it included IVF, which is in vitro. Um, I luckily was pregnant with twins, had a loss of these twins, and then I finally became a mom at last through adoption. Oh, oh that's wonderful. So even though my journey was tough, well worth it, I had the most beautiful children. And their names? Dylan and Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan and Hunter are, they make me smile and they will make you smile too. If you go to momatlast.com, right, makes sense. Uh, you go in there and you see these two beautiful blonde boys who look like this one and her husband. Absolutely, it's amazing. <laughs> My children are, um, people stop us and just say how much our twins, they have, they are totally two different DNAs, but they look alike, they love each other, they look like my husband and I, and it's been fabulous. They're not twins. They are not twins, eight months apart. Wow, they look so similar, and they have had such a journey along with you yes. to you have become a mom at last. But you would think it would take a really long time because so many people, and I know we all know this, so many people have had trouble adopting. Absolutely. And you did it between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Yes. <laughs> now, I didn't. I had some glitches along the way. Okay. While I was going through my in vitro, I was researching the adoption process and was uh, giving okay. co conflicting information about age and different things of where you can adopt. But when I found out that that third IVF, which was my final, did not work, I was determined to be a mom. And I researched and I studied and I found an agency and that next day got pictures of my two sons and brought them home within three months. They are beautiful and so well worth the wait. Absolutely. It has been the most fantastic experience. Yeah. I could not imagine my life without them. And every journey you take has a reason. You might not understand it at the time, but everything is there and my boys are my life. You've created a community of girlfriends, we call it, right? <laughs> <laughs> who can chit chat about this because a lot of us feel more open when we email. And maybe we want to write into momatlast.com and maybe speak with Sharon or another mom, right? Yes, there's an Ask yeah. Sharon section. Right. Um, you can come on and watch and uh, watch some videos, inter mm -hmm. educational videos. You can share stories. Oh, that's great. Um, we have contests. We have everything going on our website to give you, to make you feel comfortable when you're going through the journey. Um, and maybe share with other women that are there as well. And not simply adoption. Not adoption. We have in vitro. We have surrogacy. We have egg donor. Anything that really foster care, anything that really comes into play when you want to become a mom at last. Mm -hmm. Every woman takes a different journey. Absolutely. Mine just happened to be adoption. Adoption, indeed. And you did it so well. And Mom at Last carries on the brand into a book called Mom at Last. <laughs> mom at Last, the book, is yeah. my personal journey to motherhood. Mm -hmm. So it, it captures the story of Rick and I, my husband, mm -hmm. and um, our trips to Russia and seeing these two emaciated little boys for the first time and now bringing them home and they're just, just fantastic. <laughs> Good. It's, it's, you know, it was tough along the way, but well worth it, and um, I think it can help women um, who are maybe even thinking about adoption. And you have taken it upon yourself to share all of this information. You could have kept all this to yourself, and all of us are able to benefit from what Sharon's gone through. And I think this is amazing how much information you're putting out there and sharing with other people. And you're not stopping. You're going to go to national media and talk as, to as many people as possible. Yes, I am. And put those videos on the, that website. Abs yeah. uh, absolutely. I just believe in my adoption story. I believe that there are good stories. A lot of times you hear only the bad. I am a positive success story. I want to share that. I want to help other women and know that if you have that desire to be a mom, I'm here to help. And hopefully you can be a mom at last. Mom at last. And follow that mom at last journey on momatlast.com. And we'll tell you when the book launches. It should be this year, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Give us a, little, a, few, a few months to get this together and it's going to be another return to this show and we're going to bring the book next time. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much for having You're me. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>